Hello Year 2, welcome to English today. I hope you enjoyed the story Flotsam yesterday. It is one of my absolute favourites. It always makes me think when I'm down at the beach, what am I going to find? Will I find the underwater camera that somebody's thrown back into the ocean? I never have, but I still live in hope. I think the little girl at the end of this story looks like she's on the beach in Diani. So maybe, who knows, maybe one day I'll be lucky. I've got two jobs for you in English today. The first one is to look at these pictures and put them in order of the story from yesterday. Now try to do this without looking at the YouTube video. Try to do this from your own memory. That's really important that we learn to remember. If you don't have a printer and you can't cut these out and stick them in, all you need to do is write the numbers, the numbers in order, starting with the first picture. Now, number one isn't the first picture. So have a look carefully to see which picture came first yesterday. If you think that you have finished, go back onto the Flotsam video and check the order of your pictures. I haven't included all of them, so there will be some missing. So job number one, put these pictures in order from start to finish. Once you've done job number one, you can have a go at job number two. Here is my story map for Flotsam. What I would like you to do is to use either the pictures or my story map to retell the story. So you're going to use the pictures or my story map to retell the story of Flotsam. If you get stuck and you need a reminder, you know you can find the story on the YouTube channel from yesterday. I would love to see you sending a video of yourself reading the story using the story map. So today's activity, put the pictures in order, use the story map or the pictures to retell the story of Flotsam. Send me a video recording of you telling me the story. I can't wait to see them all. Bye.